my name is Say Two Time. You can follow me on Instagram at C A number two time T I M E. And uh, what name did you come up with for the one you currently got? Just one, it was just uh, Shay Capone because I used to listen to a lot of uh, Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, Chicago music. I took the LA uh -huh. and then put my twist on it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Welcome everybody to Pack Talk, brought to you by the Wolves Den, bringing you the behind the scenes look at your favorite up and coming local artists. I'm your host, KJ. I'm here with Say Two Time. We're going to get right into it. So, Tell everybody where you're from, what was it like growing up. Just tell everybody about yourself. Uh, I was born in um, Eastern Shore, uh, Maryland. Uh -huh. But later, like around 12 or like 11, third grade age, yeah. came to uh, Brishton. Uh -huh. With just my mom and uh, yeah, just us. No. Uh -huh. Single parent. Oh, you man. know, It's pretty, like, you know, the average story. Yeah. Okay. Pretty rough. So like what who what or who got you into like doing music and and you know things like that? And like what you grow up listening to? Me I probably I got into it because like my homie uh like my homies was rapping. Uh -huh. And like I seen like what they was doing, so yeah. like it was just like damn like I'm seeing, you know, them getting a little buzz. Yeah. And eventually, I started going to the studio with, uh -huh. with them and stuff. And, and it like, just came it just natural. Happened. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Like, it took me some time, but. To get comfortable with it. Yeah. yeah. But I was nervous and shit. Uh, I, well, I can cook them. Yeah, you, you uh, do what you uh, want. It's just, this is all you. Uh, so, like, what's your. So, like, who you grew up listening to, pretty much? Like, so you young, so yeah. I can only imagine what you. I mean, I listen like, or just rap, or just everything. Anything, anything. whatever you grew up listening to. Uh, I grew up listening to, like Mexican music and stuff. Yeah. Like, Chalino Sanchez. Uh huh. And like, you know, pretty much on that end. Yeah. Also listen to uh, Young Boy. Young Boy. Dirt. Uh, of course. My favorite Mexican group. I don't even know for real. I don't, like, I don't really like listen to them like that, but I just. Yeah, <laughs> I just you know. But if you but if you if you hear it, that that's your shit. You you gonna, yeah. you gonna blast it. Yeah, for sure. I don't blame you. So, uh, like, what's your biggest inspiration? Like, to get you up in the morning, get hit the stool, keep making music, keep writing music, whatever, things like that. Mm, like seeing other artists, like you know, like tour and like mm -hmm. see the fans and stuff, like. Yeah. All the like flashlights when they like hit the stage and all that, yeah. like all that hyped up. Like, yeah. You know how like WWE. Yeah. When you come out like stuff like all that. All you see is the flashlight from the phones and shit. Yeah. yeah. So that's, I mean, that's the end goal for everybody. Everybody yeah. wants to see that. So, like, what is, uh, what's the zone that you get into when it comes to recording? Like, what what makes you cut everything out? So, like zone in. I'm like, all right, I'm recording and I gotta get these songs out. What's, what's that like? Like just like, a regular day in the studio? I mean, it depends like on what mood I'm in. Like it might be like, I'm just regular, like I'm chilling. Mm -hmm. And then other times I might be a little, a little angrier. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Or like something might've happened. And it just would reflect the yeah. music. Like if I'm happy, uh -huh. then I might be rapping about something like, you know, fun. Yeah. You know? Okay. So like, what, uh, that brings me to my next thing is like, what do you pull from like stories or like things you've seen growing up, experiences that you incorporate into your writing process, if you write at all? Um, just like stories that either I have mm -hmm. or like somebody around me have. Yeah. Or like stuff I've seen or like, you know, you know, word of mouth, you yeah. know, stuff like that. But it's mainly, I don't, really go off on of myself, I don't really go off of everybody else. Because I feel, I feel like that's like, yeah. it's like, you're not really telling your story. You can't yeah. You can't tell everybody's story for them. Yeah, because you're not going to be able to tell it well. Yeah. Like, it's going to be missing a part, too. I feel you. I feel you. So, that's, that, 
that's a good way of like explaining like how you know you can put out the stuff that you put out from what everybody sees. Yeah. So like, what can your fans expect from you? Like from this point on to the future, and what else you got going on, project wise, anything like that. I mean, they can expect like just more music and probably like we getting a get tape, on like, album, something. Yeah, 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 probably a tape like in the summertime, like around June, July. Uh, like I'm, I got like a whole bunch of unreleased stuff that I ain't put out yet because yeah. I'm just trying to get all of them in one bucket. Yeah, then I go with my peoples and we're gonna pick out. Yeah, sit down and pick out which goes in the tape and which one will get it. So, you, so you got a whole, you got a whole like uh, group of people, like support system and. and Telling you what's good and what's not, and helping you pick out what you want to put out. Yeah, but it's like you know, people got different opinions. Yeah. So yeah, like, yeah. one person might be like, "This, this not it," but the next man might be like, "Oh yeah, this the one." Yeah. So it's all like, I just take everybody's opinion, whichever you know get the most support. Mm -hmm. I'm pushing that one. Mm -hmm. Or like, if everybody like. Indecisive, I'm just push whatever I feel. Yeah. Like, is the one. Yeah, I feel you. All right, so because of that, uh, and you dedicate so much time to, you know, the art, putting out music, making music, studio time, did you ever lose, like, any relationships with family, friends, females, whatever, because you put so much time into it and you don't have time for anything else, really? I mean, nah, not really, because, I mean, it shouldn't be mad I'm doing something that could better myself. Mm -hmm. Like, even if, like, I might not spend that much time, I just something that could make more time instead of, like, you know, and more time in the future, like yeah. more free time. Yeah. Because when you're a rapper, you're not really, or just an artist in general, you're not, I mean, yeah, you might go to the studio every day mm -hmm. or every two days or something like that. Yeah. But... You're not gonna be there at all. Well, I mean, some people might, like me personally, I might go to the studio for like 10 hours one day. Or I might go one day, five hours, mm -hmm. the next day, another five, five yeah. something like that. So you, so, so you be putting a lot of time in us. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. Plus I, I can tell about music. I, I heard it shit tough. Yeah. So like, as an artist, what do you say, what's your biggest setback? And like, how do you plan on moving forward with it? Like, to get rid of that setback as well as like better yourself? I mean, probably the only setback is like, just stuff that goes on outside of the studio, like doubt mm -hmm. and like, not, not so much doubt, but you know, the doubt is there. Yeah. Cause like, you know, you do so much, you put so much time. I mean, yeah, you do a lot of time on one thing. You don't yeah. expect it to go, you know, further on. Yeah. But, you know, things like this can't be rushed. Yeah. So it's just all it a takes process. Time. But, I mean, other than that, I feel like just the outside, like, you know, what's going on in, in, in the town and stuff. Yeah. That's so, about it. Um, like, what are you feeling about, like, the whole South Jersey scene in general? Like, artists not showing other artists love and trying to keep them down and not supporting anybody, even though you come from the same area. And like, how can you yourself fix that and make it better? I mean, I feel like that's everywhere though. Like, well, it's not yeah, everywhere, but like the more, like where you from? Yeah. Like, I think I've seen it in a Vlad interview yeah. with Boosie when he was like, where you, where you from is where you get the most hate. Yeah. Like, because I've been, like, other places, like, oh, shit. I've been, like, in Cali and, uh -huh. uh, and freaking Texas. Like, I play my, I get my song to a DJ. Yeah. And then, like, they'll play, like, they'll hit me back on the Instagram. Like, yeah. Or, like, you know. This is food. tough. Yeah, like. Like, woo -de -woo, yeah. Like, what you doing? Like. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's just crazy. Like, if I go out here, you know, a DJ ain't going to want to hear that like, type nah. of stuff. Yeah, like, you, like, you're nobody. So how do you think, like, you can, like, branch yourself out more to help other artists to, like, fix that? Uh, probably just 
like me personally, if an artist or anybody come to my DM, I'm not gonna be, you know, on the Hollywood side. That, that's what like artists got like yeah. ego, mm-hmm. like when they, like most of them, you feel me? They can have that because yeah. you know they might get a little views and they get big headed and stuff. Yeah. But me, I ain't really got. I don't, I don't really consider a thousand views and plus like a lot. Like, yeah. Unless you got a million views, then yeah. you feel me? You doing something? Yeah. But other than that, you gotta keep putting that work in. Yeah. So like, people just need to humble, humble yeah, themselves. Yeah, at the end of the day, you ain't no better than the next man. Yeah, so. cause we all coming from the same spot. Exactly. Cause all it take is for one man to come out, and then the labels and stuff gonna look. Exactly. So, if any of y'all got any more questions y'all want him to answer, or you got any questions in general, make sure you can email the podcast at the Pack Talk Podcast at gmail.com. Or you can leave them down in the comments below. And uh, that's pretty much it. So the next segment we're going to do is called uh, Alpha Questions. I'm going to ask you a couple questions. And basically it's for them to get to know you as a person other than an artist. But appreciate you sitting down talking. We out. So what's the worst date you've ever been to? I mean, like, as far as, like, the girl or just, like... The worst date probably would have been when I went to the... Well, I don't know, it's two, and they all in the same spot. Just because, like, stuff that happened outside of the date, like, some crazy stuff, like... Yeah. Like, for example, I went to the Harvest Festival uh-huh. at... Uh, I was walking, and then that's where the uh, that little girl that oh, yeah. was on that uh, machine that was yeah. dude spinning around. Yeah. I seen it like she like she came out the uh, she came out the ride, yeah. hit her head and snapped her snapped her neck, that's and then she was gone. And that's like something that you know. And then I was eating too, so I was just like, oh snap! And then seeing all that blood, it was just like. You ever use the I'm a rapper card and get yourself into some else? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. like, like me, I carry myself as I'm him. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like, who you top five all the time? Like, which, like, from the 90s or just every? Well, I'm young, so I mean, people gonna criticize it. But, Everybody got their favorite. But I mean, I'm gonna pick somebody from the '90s, cause I mean, I, I like his like style, like Biggie. Biggie. Biggie for sure. Uh, I gotta go with with Young Boy, yeah. just cause of his style is just, and then it's real, uh, authentic. And I'm gonna go with another Jersey artist, uh, Sue Surf. Uh huh. He's real. I, like I mess with him heavy. He got, he got a jersey on his. Uh, that's what's up. Well, I'll probably go with Dirt. Dirt. Dirt and probably Lil Baby. Cause Lil Baby got. Yeah. You're all tough. And uh, what name did you come up with for the one you currently got? Just one, it was just uh, Shay Capone, because I used to listen to a lot of uh, Chicago. Yeah. yeah, Chicago music. I took the LA and then put my twist on it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And how was the experience with Wolf today? Oh, yeah, it's a dope experience. Like, it's like one of a kind. Like, you get to network with artists, and, and it's good, always a, you know, good time. You feel me? Right. And, you see, you have-